Okay, so we're gonna do an example of a trick change on the bear so I can um, explain it a little bit better. Um, so first of all, we do routine trick changes every two weeks where we um, take out the old one and just put a brand new fresh one in. The other reasons why you would do a trach change would be an emergency type situation. So that would be if her trach were to come out accidentally, you would emergently put a new one in. We have an emergency trach at her bedside and we have an emergency trach with us in her red emergency bag every single place we go. So if you were emergently gonna re-put a trach in, you would put the same size in. We always have the same size and the size smaller if the same size does not go right back in, you would put the size smaller in. And that is because that stomacite can close up a little bit. If you have any trouble getting the same size trach in, you would put the size smaller in. The other emergency situation were, would be if um, her trach plugged up, meaning the, her secretions, if they became too thick, they can create a little plug in the bottom of the trach tube. And so if that were to happen, if she were to struggle to breathe and you tried to suction her and you weren't really getting any secretions out or that catheter wasn't passing very well, that's a good indication that it might be like a plug, a mucus plug. So in that scenario, you would get your emergency trach, you would take the old one out and you would put a new one in. And right as you're doing that, if someone else is there or if you're by yourself, you would call a 911 because it would be worth it for them already to be on their way and ready um, rather than realize that you did the trach change and she still was struggling to breathe and it didn't help. So if you're ever really doing an emergency trach change, when in doubt, call 911. If they get here and you don't need them, they are 100% understanding and rather you call. They know about Ziva, they know that she could have an emergency at any time, so they are ready for that. Okay, so first things first is like I have my trach all set up. Um, I have my trach ties on it. And this is the obturator. This is not in her when she has her trach, but we use this for trach changes because it makes it easier. It goes in her stomacite easier because of this firmness. Otherwise, this tube is pretty flimsy, so to get that in without the obturator would be a lot harder. So we always start with this obturator in, um, and I am gonna put that in a clean spot. I would hold her trach. We normally do this with two people. Take her ties out. We always do it with a neck roll because that helps extend her neck so that we can get to that stoma site easier and open that up. So we always communicate when we are taking that old trach out. So I'm gonna switch my hands. Once those ties are off, you never wanna let go of the trach because nothing is securing it. So I'm gonna get my new trach in my hand. We use lube or gel so that it goes in easier. That's always in her emergency bag as well if you were to ever need it. So I'm gonna take my trach out, one, two, three, out. Then I'm gonna put my new one back in. I'm gonna hold it and take this obturator out. That's the number one thing people forget to do because you're so happy you got it in there that you kind of pause. So if you ever do a trach change, you will know what I'm talking about. And then you tighten the ties and you are good.